Now, what we're going to demonstrate here today is we're going to show the, the bunting, two bunting techniques, uh, how to hold the bat, but we're going to recommend one over the other, and we'll explain that as we go along. Now, Grayson, what we'd like to do is <clears throat> one of the bunting techniques is where you're going to square the pitcher. So why don't you square up, square up to the pitcher, like so. All right, now, this bunting technique is one that when I was young, it was the way we were taught how to bunt. The bad thing with this kind of method is the fact that it does open the player up. The player, if the pitcher in the youth league throws a ball right at him, it's pretty hard to get out of the way in this way. But there, yet, nevertheless, there are some coaches that would teach this method of bunting. Now, I want, a couple things I want to point out right now, even though uh, we're going to go to a different position here in just a minute. Grayson, when he bunt the ball, he wants to keep the bat at about a 45 degree angle like this, with the bat, with the barrel up like this. And he, you'll notice if you can see his hand here, kind of behind, this hand here is the hand that kind of controls the bat. And uh, this, in terms of his ability to keep it up, and the bottom hand is going to be his directional hand, which we'll ha if we want to bunt to the first base side or to the third base side. So one of the things we want to emphasize right now is that the bat head is up, <clears throat> and he's going to want to bunt the ball out in front of home plate. This is one of the things you don't bunt the ball back in here. When the pitch is delivered, you want to bunt it out in front of the plate. Now, right now, we're also talking about bunting, sacrifice bunting, which is in reality is we want to bunt strikes only. This is not a suicide bunt. But we're not talking about a bunt for a hit here. We're talking about a sacrifice bunt where we want to bunt strikes only. And one of the things this should do, this position, should help the hitter, however, to tell whether or not the pitch is a strike or not because he has a good view face on uh, and he can tell whether or not the pitch is going to be in the strike zone. However, the position that we recommend, okay, Grayson, if you'll come back to your stance, your regular stance, what I'd like to see young coaches and youth coaches and those of you that will be watching this tape to teach young hitters how to bunt is this method. What we're going to do is, Grayson, go into your position, go into the bunt position, the bunt position. There you go. He just is kind of squared. If you notice, he's just kind of taken his feet and spun a little bit. He's not stepped. Okay, now come back, Grayson, let's come back and show him again. Okay, he's in a stance. All right, now go to your bunt position. Just rot You see how he's just rotated his feet? He's basically he's rotated his back foot. His bat is up at a 45 degree angle. He's got a good look at the, at the pitcher. He can tell if it's a strike or not. And so here the, the emphasis is again on the bat head being up. You don't want the bat down. When the bat is down, there's a chance that the ball hit on top of the bat and you'll have a foul ball. When you have the bat head up, you have more hitting surface here for bunting when the pitch is coming. In just a few minutes, we're going to show you some actual bunting. But the bat head is up. You've got more bat surface. Now, as far as direction, this bottom hand is what gives him direction. And basically, when he turns his bat like this with his bottom hand, he should be able to bunt the ball to the first base side. If he just kind of pulls the bat back as the pitch is delivered, he should be able to bunt to the third base side. So the bottom hand is really his, what we call a directional hand. I like to think of the top hand as his control hand. He's controlling the bat with the top hand, but his direction is coming from the bottom hand. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. We got the bat head up now. We're ready to go. We've got a pitcher here going to throw Grayson some pitches. We're going to demonstrate uh, with the second method because I like that method the best, and I think young hitters can use that way. And one other thing I did uh, neglect to say, when you're in that position, get in your bunt position again, Grayson, this allows you uh, some more options. One thing is what we call you can slash or you can fake bunt and hit because all he has to do now, come back, Grayson, come back. He comes back. And he can come back right into the hitting zone real careful, real, real quickly. So he can go from a bunt position to a hitting position real quickly in this method. And that's one of the advantages to teaching bunting this way. So we have a coach here who's going to throw Grayson some pitches. I'm going to stand here, and we're going to hope that Grayson can hit the ball fair. And we're going to, uh, let's see, Grayson, if you'll show the people that are viewing the video now how to bunt. Let's try to bunt to the first base side. Go ahead. Square around. There you go. Good.